What's up, trialists? Once again, I'm your host, Cannibal Shogun. Auntie's away this week. In his place, we've got uh, Red Link's game designer. Hi, Carre, que veloma. And as usual, this week, we're going to take a look at the latest tracks to hit the Red Link's picks feeds on Track Central. First up this week, we've got Metro, which obviously, as you can see, takes place in a subway type setting with some industrial stuff here as well, apparently. I like a lot of these tracks that have sort of like a story. It goes from one area to the next. It's always fun to see what's up. Yeah, the change of environment's always nice. And uh, we've actually kind of got a little bit of a theme this week because this is kind of a destroyed metro here, as you can see in areas. And uh, pretty much all of our tracks this week have some sort of destroyed theme to them. So next up, uh, we've got Concrete Jungle by HG Kush. And this one uh, reminds me of the Discovery Channel show, I think it was called uh, Earth After People or something like that. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's got that look of uh, nobody's been here for a while. Definitely looks good. I mean, there's a lot of detail in the background and a lot of stuff going on. Right. And that's the end of that one. Next up, we're looking at New York Harbor Ruins. And you talk about ruins, now we're going to take New York and put it underwater. Yeah, I've seen quite a few of these uh, underwater tracks, but this one has a really nice theme to it. It's got all these interesting parts, and you really want to see what's next, and there's some cool surprises along the way, definitely. Right, some very nice uh, just kind of general atmosphere and uh, scenery going on. And, uh, and actually, the way this one plays, too, for an underwater track, really nice. Uh, the next track we're taking a look at, new on Red Link's picks first. This is a Supercross track by Dragon Mickey to Hoken's Ruins. And uh, this was a fun one to play. Obviously, we had to get three other dudes, and uh, we threw down on it. Yeah, it's got a cool Aztec vibe to it, this sort of, like, tribal thingy going on. Right. Very nice. It's, a, it's got a nice length, nice detail. It's a pretty good Supercross track. I recommend it to anybody who likes playing Supercross. And Definitely. need more of those. Right. As we get... Oh, here's the end here. I had to leave this one in for everybody to see. Coming up in fourth place, we got uh, Professor Fat Shady from University of Trials, DNFN. <laughs> and uh, now we're actually switching to the PC. We got some PC tracks this week. This one's called Activate 2. And as you can see here, you go through and you have to uh, hit all the red squares, turn them green to open up the path to the next obstacle. You can do some pretty cool skill requirements with this one. Having these little turning things and, and everything. It's real nice, and it is a little bit of a challenge, so uh, bring your skills. Nice one. And uh, last last but not least this week, another PC track. This one's called Binary Factory, and uh, it's got a kind of binary theme going on, as you can see with all the ones and zeros in the background. <laughs> a lot of green. I actually didn't notice those ones and zeros until now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, and this one's great. The animation is just going off the whole time. There's stuff moving around, little robots flying and stuff. Yeah, it's just crazy looking at how much work you put into something like this where there's everything, it's always something moving. Right, and the ending there was great too. I cut it off, but you're going to have to go check it out yourself. So that's what we got this week. Um, if you're on the PC, be sure to check out our month of Motor Mayhem track building competitions currently going on right now. And uh, that's all we got for this week. Till next week, I'm Cannibal Shogun, and I'll see you on the leaderboards.